Hey all, I hope you all are doing well. This is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on this channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about few of the tips and tricks for writing your PhD thesis effectively and smoothly. I will be sharing few of the mistake which you could avoid, and I will be sharing my own experiences also. The session will be mainly focusing toward biosciences, life sciences, biotech, and bio IT sector. So let's start the session. In my previous video, I have already mentioned some of the mistakes which you could avoid while performing and doing your PhD work. If you have missed watching that video, I request you to watch that. I will be putting the links in the description section. And regarding specially about writing this PhD thesis and what are the mistakes which we could avoid and how effectively we can write, these things we are going to discuss in this session. The very common mistake what I have noticed most of the student does is starting very late. Like uh, while completing their four or five year of PhD, in the end they start their PhD writing. So starting late is very uh, deadly mistake which we should avoid. What we can do is that once you have written your synopsis, you have started your experiment and once you are getting the results, start in the early stages. Like many part of your PhD thesis, you could write from the beginning stages like review of literature, methodology part and results part also. As long as you are progressing, these pictures, these tables, the result, diagrams, everything you can compile in one folder and based on that, you could start writing your discussion part. So you could make your four or five folder, one for review of literature, one for methods and methodology, one could be for your result, graph and uh, tables, and then the final one for the discussion one also. So as long as you are progressing, you are updating these folders. So once you are come, you are completed with your fourth or fifth or the final stages of your PSD, these folders and these uh, information is going to help you to compile your final thesis effectively. So in the, this case, there is two way, like few students. I think efficient way is that you start early and step by steps as you are progressing, write the thesis part. So as I've said, chapter wise, you can divide your thesis part, review of literature, acknowledgement, content, methods and methodology, your references arrangement, everything and the result and the discussion part. As you are progressing, start to compile these things. So it, this could be like as you are progressing in similar fashion, you are progressing and updating all these folders. The second way, if suppose you are not someone like this who are updating thesis and writing part every year, every month. And if you are already in the final stages of your PhD, what you could do once you are ready with your data, your synopsis has been completed, you have enough of data, assign yourself few months like three, four, five months only for thesis writing and in that period try to give as much as time for your thesis writing. It's a complete task where you have to document everything because based on the country somewhere I've seen in Japan many universities also ask for only 20-50 pages of report just the summary part of your publication or the summary of your thesis but country like us country like india and different countries we have to give a detailed thesis also where you have to provide depending on years and kind of work sometimes your thesis could be like 150 to 200 page and writing everything in a scientific manner is not that easy job you can imagine if you have to give uh, 150 to 200 pages of thesis that too in a scientific language and with relevant data. It's a lengthy task. It's require energy and your focus also. So assign a separate four, five months just for your writing once you are ready with your data. So in, in both ways, you can write your thesis. The another issue what I have noticed among my students and colleagues and friends is that 
as you all are doing phd and most of you are scientists so you already are doing a highest academic degree qualification so most of us are very keen towards reading writing doing analytical task and doing experimentation and most of us want everything in perfection what happens sometimes we are putting extra energy and extra time for a particular task for improvising the diagrams figure table or you are actually we have to actually compile everything in a perfect way also but we should not give too much time so time management will be also very important while writing your thesis perfection is one task but over perfection is not required so we have to be little bit careful while managing with our time especially while doing the thesis writing part not getting enough of feedbacks is also a mistake which we should avoid you should take some feedbacks either from your colleagues your mentors few of the faculty members who are doing the similar projects and also from your seniors we should give our supervisor enough of time for the revision of your drafts don't depend on one draft only try to give two three draft to your supervisor and give them some time duration also so don't delay the deadlines so best way is that as long as you are progressing as as long as you are completing the chapters just submit those draft to your supervisor and ask for what deadline or what time they are going to return those draft because you have to edit these thesis once twice or thrice also in our lab i have seen most of the thesis we have to edit four or five times so usually we have submitted four to five draft or a proper thesis which is like 180 to 200 pages uh, a thick file so you have to manage with uh, and coordinate with your supervisor about the additions and the revision of your drafts the yeah, another mistake what i have noticed what many students still does is that they are not using reference managers and they are arranging the references manually either many institute and university will ask you to provide the references in name wise and alphabetical manner and in many institute they are going to ask you number wise but if you are arranging these things manually imagine if your files are thesis files are around 150 to 200 and you are using references around 200 to 250 then if you are arranging these things manually the chances of mistakes will be high so to reduce these mistakes you should use endnote or mendeley for the arrangement of your references this is not only going to help you in the thesis but it is also going to help you when you will be using these datas and these document for the compilation of, of your publications the another thing is the compilation of your data the tables the result the graphs most of us still uses the common powerpoint and all adobe but there are lot of other tools freely available advanced tools are also available for your scientific illustration and figures like bio render we should improvise our figures qualities and data representation by using these things i have already made few tools related to these uh, scientific compilation of figures and illustration both by bio render and other tools if you have missed watching that video i will be putting the links in the description do check out the, those things also it is going to help you while compiling and for creating your scientific figures so in, so do check out that videos also so here a compilation of scientific figures and illustration is a very significant part of our overall thesis and its representation so giving enough time and using effective tools are also very important part what i have noticed not only my phd student but other graduate and master student who are compiling their thesis and report most of the student does this kind of mistake they are really good in reading writing doing the experiment performing the task data analysis everything but once it comes to the final compilation and writing of thesis they does a very sim simple mistake but which are very deadly because see they are not doing the formatting correctly 
in terms of writing the things sometimes they are not doing the justification formatting they are using wrong font sometimes the grammatical mistakes and all these things so these common typing editing grammatical mistakes we should really avoid and the best part is that you should write the thesis part your chapters do check it by taking the printouts or maybe ask for the proofreading from the third party maybe your family member your friends your juniors your colleagues because once we are writing our thesis or report sometime we are thinking everything in the mind but when we are typing we miss some words we misspell some words which we could not see when we are writing or when we are reading but if the same proofreading or editing is done by some third party they could pick those mistakes so either take out the print and read yourself or maybe you can ask the third party help so proofreading in terms of typing grammatical uh, things formatting is very significant part so try for that proofreading also and editing also the another very important part is if you are from academia if you are doing phd we have to be really focus about what data is what references what material we are using because we have to avoid the plagiarism and copyright things so it's better don't use uh, the complete literatures from somewhere else make sure that you are writing in your own language if you are using figures do give the references and copyright take the permissions and don't take the data from others because at many institute and universities nowadays they are asking for plagiarism reports also we have to submit that part also so it's better to compile your own figures if you are taking any figures from somewhere else provide the references and take the permission and copyright for that so avoid the plagiarism part and you have to be very careful about this the another common mistake is when we are either doing the phd or writing the phd we are not taking care of ourselves especially when you are completing when you are in the final stages when you have to give the publications you have to complete your thesis and you have to complete few experiments also at the last moment so at that period things are really challenging so taking care of our physical and mental health is also very important i myself has noticed that i was putting too much of time on laptop while writing and editing my thesis day and night i was working so i was having some eye problem and because of dry eye and my i have to visit the uh, doctor and he advised me to take break also so in your cases also i have noticed many people are not taking care of food they are not taking care of sleep sometime like myself i was not taking proper rest while completing the thesis actually we should avoid that and i tell my student also that if you are writing these things or if you are planning in advance the things will be really easier in the last moment so time management and taking good care of yourself is also very important so to summarize everything i would suggest when you are writing your phd thesis make sure that you are starting in early stages first when you are writing your review of literature do a lot of research reading give the references and citation wherever it is required try to write in your own language do a lot of proof reading editing take the feedbacks and for arrangement of your results and data do it carefully do all the statistical analysis if require you use advanced tools like biorender for the efficient and effective representation of scientific illustration and data give enough of time to your supervisor for your getting the revision of your thesis and smartly manage your time so that you can effectively compile your thesis and give enough of time for your health and your personal life also wishing you good luck from my side I hope you have liked the session and found this information relevant. If you have uh, liked the session, I request you to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor and for your thesis writing and submission. Good luck from my side. See you in the next video. Thank you.